This briefcase contains the most closely guarded secrets of the most mysterious phenomenon in TV history. Our new season of musical all-star guessing madness starts Wednesday, September 25th. But tonight, I can exclusively reveal to you what fans around the world are waiting for, the mass singer, Super Sneak. Check it out. Tonight, you're gonna meet me and the other brand new mass Singers. Nobody knows who we are, but you are about to learn the first clues to our top secret identities. Think you've got what it takes to figure us out? I dare you to try. Welcome everyone to the mass Singer Super Sneak Peek. The name's Cannon. Nick Cannon, tonight we're celebrating the return of the greatest who sung it mystery ever. Our incredible panel of detectives is here to join the party. Woo! You feeling it? Feel yes. it! Yes! Yes, good! Starting Wednesday, September 25th at 8, 7 Central, we kick off a new, even bigger and bolder season full of undercover all-star singers. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And this time, we're supersizing to 16 brand new incredible characters inhabited by 16 brand new secret superstars. Wow. Tonight, for the first time, we're going to meet them and we promise to exclusively reveal their first clues panel. How have you prepared to be better guessers this season? And I'm staring right at you, Ken. <laughs> Oh, I, I, ha I haven't prepared at all, so no. I... <laughs> Nick, I am ready to look really closely at all of the new clues. I switched hairsprays this season. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> to know where the mass Singer is going, it helps to know where we've been. Let's take a look back at the powerful performances, the wild guessing game, and the shocking reveals that made the mass Singer a sensation around the globe. In case you've been living in a cave, <laughs> the mass Singer is the top secret celebrity singing competition that had America guessing who P. Diddy. is Paul Abdul. behind 50 Cent, the mask. I'm so freaking confused right now. I don't know who I am. Our undercover stars were disguised at all times. Their voices distorted in interviews. I probably have more security than the President of the United States. Their identities were TV's best kept secret. Each week, the mystery celebrities sang their hearts out to keep their mask on. The weakest performer was eliminated and unmasked before your eyes. TV's greatest guessing game captivated the nation ever since that very first night. Welcome to the Mad Singer! I'm so excited for this guy, our first performance. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Don't try to, it's coming for you, run and out. It's only this moment, don't get what comes out. And I was like, wow, this is amazing! Tell me, do you want to go? It's coming in my yes. Yes. Well, the runaways are running the night. It was so magical. I got some emotion through me of going, I'm part of something that is a show that people are going to remember forever. I was like, we're in for a ride. Buckle up. The first mass voted off this wild ride was our hip hop hip hop. That's not the ride Did you catch who hip hop was? Clues were hidden everywhere. And tonight, we'll explain some so you can become a clue master for season two. There were visual clues to spot, like this orange juice, because Hippo is from Florida. And verbal clues everywhere. My favorite pastime is bowling. Uh... 
Hippo said that because he played in a Super Bowl. Who did the panel think the Hippo was? I'm going with Allen Iverson. It's Neon Deion Sanders. It's Deion Sanders. From the New York Giants, it's got to be Odell Beckham Jr. Were any of them right? Did you figure them out? Take it, Take it off! It off. Oh. <laughs> Antonio Brown for the Pittsburgh Steelers! Antonio Brown! What are you doing? Yes! Yes, <laughs> he did the hike! It hit the airwaves and we got all this uh, love. The Masked Singer became an immediate success with fans of all ages singing and guessing along. Who was the hippopotamus? Antonio Brown. <laughs> Even pets got in on the fun. It's fun for the whole family. It's my kids' favorite show and that has nothing to do with me. One of the things that I loved was having people come up to me and say, Thank you so much. You brought our family unit back together. With over a million mentions, the Masked Singer hashtag dominated Twitter, trending number one worldwide each week. Everyone wanted to know who's behind the mask. You know, I'm at a coffee shop and just people just come up to me like, hey, Ken John, who's so and so and so and so? I just gotta know. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> you're just oh, the best person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I would never go to a coffee shop. I have three assistants who do that. It's not like Ken knew who any of them were in the first place. You're an OG. It's Jimmy Buffett. Comedic legend Tommy Chong! Oh, oh my <laughs> God! It is NFL Hall of Famer John Elway. Two-time Super Bowl MVP, Gary Bradshaw! Oh! I think Lissa Rivers, maybe. Margaret Cho! Margaret! Oh my god! Ken, I thought you would know. I know she's my sister on Dr. Ken, and I knew nothing. I'm so dumb. Unicorn was the next to go. Did Ken pop open her clues? Unicorn is known for Beverly Hills 90210, which her dad wrote on that typewriter. I've been thinking Tori Spelling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tori time I've ever done anything right in my life, <laughs> ever. The Who sung it continued in week six when Raven showed off her voice. Oh my God. Then showed off her Emmy. Ooh. Oh, whoa. But then had to show her face. Ricky Lake. Alien's journey was the next to end. They always want to come, but they never want to leave my exes. And oh, 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 they haunt me. Were you able to identify her? Take it off! Oh, my oh, goodness! Oh, my God. God. Superstar singer entertainer Latoya Jackson! It's wonderful seeing you behind the mask. People prejudge you. And if they can't really see your face, they can't really prejudge you that much. I enjoyed everything every single moment of it. Next to go was Lion, who delivered one of the season's best performances. California dreaming, oh, oh, oh I'm such a winner's day. You know, girl! The panel had no clue who Lion was. I think you're Kelly Rowland. Haley Steinfeld. Might be Michelle Williams. Don Robinson from On Vogue. Hey, hey, oh. From now on, when I watch a Bruce Willis movie, I'm thinking, oh, snap, that's the lion's dad. Our ninth singer to unmask was Rap. Let's crack his key clues. He grew up in Brooklyn, New York, near Coney Island, and he said, You better believe the last mask standing is gonna be me. It's Gonna Be Me was one of his boy band's biggest hits. Did you guess him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Fatone! 
Joey loved the show so much, he even got a tattoo of rap. It's felt fun being anonymous, uh, but it was always interesting because not many people get to hear my voice all the time in a solo. It was a blast. Coming up, we'll reveal the brand new Mass Singers. And for the first time, hear exclusive sneak peek performances. Plus, our monster champion T-Pain is back. Oh my god, this show is the coolest show ever. <laughs> Super sneak peek! Woo! Our new adventure begins with our season premiere Wednesday, September 25th, a day that will live in mass history. Remember that, September 25th at 8, 7 Central. Write that down, put it in your phone. Seriously, I'ma wait. Do it. All right. Now, we continue our insane journey down the mass Singer memory lane. Our first season ended with an epic finale featuring Monster B and Peacock. Buzzing to third place was our legendary B. I came in like a Did you break open her clues? The peach represented her hometown of Atlanta, and the bakeware was because she loves cooking and even published a cookbook. Four out of five panelists agreed who she was. One, two, three. That right, is. I need, I need a baker. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know who was right. <laughs> the legendary Gladys Knight. And I told you. Yes, baby. It's been the most awesome experience to be able to perform and people really not know who you are. Be careful with that. The peacock was our runner-up. Did you peck out his clues? The rainbow flag and that creepy wig referred to his starring role in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And that dog? Well, Peacock famously sang Puppy Love. Who did the panel think he was? Weird Al Yankovic. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris? Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond! I'm pushing 56 years in show business, and I gotta say, this was probably the most fun thing I've ever done. Peacock, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, that was weird. And the first ever Golden Mask went to... The Monster! You are the king of the Mask Singer! He wowed us with every performance. Woo! But none was more special than his epic rendition of Stay With Me. Oh, won't you stay with me? Woo! Cause you're all I need. Oh my God, he's amazing. This ain't love is good to see. Okay. So okay. don't let I think we have just witnessed greatness. But who did the panel think our champion was? I'm gonna go with Jamie Foxx. Michael Beck. I'm gonna say Darius Rocker Hootie. CeeLo Green. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The monster always prevails. That's what I do. T-Pain in the building. One of the greats of our... No, I'm joking, man. Look, that was the most humbling thing I've ever been through. I'm glad I can show people what I do. I may see you next season. Probably up on the top with the judges. You never know. And cut, thank you. Who will be our next Golden Mask winner? In just moments, we will meet all the new characters for season two. Season two? Guys, everybody knows that we're a cultural phenomenon now. You have to watch the second season of The Masked Singer because it's two words. It's bigger, it's better. Funnier. Everyone's game is elevated except mine. It's, I'm a little bit worse. Funnier. The caliber of celebrities we have, the costume designs. We're excited for season two to push the limits. I, Ken Jeong, 
dare you, America, to figure out the contestants before Ken Jung does. I don't think you got it. You gotta love Ken. Now, what we've all been waiting for, our very first clues about what's to come in our Super Size premiere on Wednesday, September 25th at 8, 7 Central. Are you guys ready to meet the new masks? Pay close attention. For the first time, we're giving away clues to who the mystery celebrities are. Can you figure them out? Here it goes. Time to meet our first new mask. Who is that? And now, straight from anatomy class, not in the flesh, made of bones and bling, it's time to meet the skeleton. I'm the skeleton, and I've got a bone to pick with any contestant who thinks they're going to win this competition. To my skeleton crew, just know I feel like I've died and gone to heaven being here, and I'm going to sing my heart out if I had one. Every bone in the skeleton's body was carved by hand with painstaking detail, as well as this custom-made bone mic that the mystery celebrity specifically requested. The intricate craftsmanship and sparkly jewels make it one of the most expensive suits of the season. America, I'm sure you're dying to know who I am, but I'm taking this secret back to the grave. Shh. I'm planning on having this season be a lot harder, not only for us judges, but for the viewers, because the celebrities that are on season two have played the game. So good luck. <laughs> Can you spot the hidden clue for this next mask? Who is that? Coming out of its den, the sneakiest of all critters, with a top hat and a bushy bottom, meet the fox. Some say I'm the most underestimated creature in the entire animal kingdom. Foxes are clever, strategic, and they'll eat almost anything. Which is perfect, because this superhero is ready to devour the competition. The steampunk vibe of this costume and its signature glowing eye were conjured up by the secret celebrity inside. This outfit took the longest to make, as the design team spent over 80 hours crafting the tail alone. What does the fox say? Good luck figuring me out, because I plan on staying in my foxhole till the very end. This show is awesome because it's so bizarre and so crazy. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced. Who's behind this mask? Listen for a clue. Who is that? All the way from the freezer section, always on a sugar high. I hope you're not lactose intolerant. Meet the ice cream. So here's the scoop. I may be sweet, but I'm here to lick the competition and ice cream float to the finale. Because the last singer on that stage has got to be dessert. Out of all the new characters this season, the ice cream was the most difficult to build. The hot fudge molding with the cherry on top made this one of the heaviest heads of the season. It took our all-star design team several weeks to get the balance of the head just right to avoid any spills. No! America, I can't tell you who I am, except that I'm made of sugar and dairy, and I live for half of February. <laughs> you can try to guess my identity all you want, but you'll just get brain freeze. Coming up, if you thought those characters were crazy, you're gonna freak out over the next batch of top secret masks. And later, you'll hear exclusive sneak peek performances from our new mass singers. Who is it? Who is it? Welcome back to the mass singer, Super Sneak Peek. Woo! You've now met three of our 16 masks. Will one of them become our next champion? Or will it be one of these new characters? Check it out. Listen for a clue to who's under this mask. Who is that? Coming straight out of the nest, sporting their signature rock star outfit, meet our talented feathered friend, the Eagle. 
Watch out, because the eagle has officially landed. These other competitors are simply my prey, and they'll be saluting me at the very end. This costume was made up of over 1,000 feathers, and the elaborate rock star wardrobe was specifically requested by the mystery celebrity, including its signature sun medallion and red bandana. I love the idea of wearing a mask because I know it allows me to live out my wildest dreams. And if you know an eagle's body temperature, you may be hot on my tail. America, you may think you have an eagle eye or an eagle ear, but you'll never guess who I am. The costumes for season two are high art. This is not a Halloween costume type of show. This is the real deal. Time for mask number five. Listen for the clue. Who is that? Coming all the way from their own tinsel town. Evergreen with happiness from head to mistletoe, meet the tree. To all of my tree huggers, I'm ready to light up on stage and leave the other singers in my shade. Not to be sappy, but I'm so excited to bring you the gift of joy through all of my delicious performances. Our all-star design team used hula hoops to create the inner shell of the costume which was inspired by 1950s vintage pinup queens. The security guards on this show make me feel like precious cargo. Spruce on the loose. Protecting my identity 24-7. If we bring friends or family, even they have to be disguised so they're not recognized. America, are you pining to know who I am? You're not gonna tree leave it. Who's behind this next mask? Listen for a clue. Who is that? Taking a vacation from the tropical life, pretty in pink, with a leg up on the competition, meet the flamingo. flamingo. I'm ready to flamingo all the way and rock this competition till my feathers fall off. The first time I saw my costume, I was blown away. It's perfect for me. I love this mask as much as I love mascara. I may never put my foot down, but I'm still one fiery and fierce bird. Our talented team of designers spent over 120 hours constructing this bird. The costume has more than 1,800 pink feathers, some measuring over three feet long. It's time to party like a flock star. America, you'll never figure me out, but I promise you'll be tickled pink when I unmask. Get pumped, everyone. Here's a sneak beak performance of me, the Flamingo. up another sneak peek performance and more new characters will be uncovered for the first time welcome back to the mass singer super sneak peek time to introduce more of the secret celebrities who will face off to keep their masks on starting wednesday september 25th watch for a clue to who this celebrity is who is that now stepping out from its cocoon with giant bug eyes, it has a long wingspan but a short lifespan. Your hearts will flutter for the butterfly. I'm flying high and ready to shake up the competition. I'm going to give my opponents butterflies in their stomachs. Are you ready to feel the butterfly effect? This extreme costume might be the most detailed the show has ever created. The design team sewed over 10,000 individual sequins by hand. 
My giant wings and antennas make it really difficult to move around. I bump into everything. I just pray I don't fall over. America, I've got my eye on you, but do you have the eye to figure out who I am? If I was on The mass Singer, I think I would just be a cheeseburger. I've got great buns, I'm a little meaty, and sometimes I act a little cheesy. Get ready to spot another clue. Who is that? Marching here all the way from Antarctica. A bird who's flightless, but fearless. Meet the penguin. I might be cold as ice, but I'm bringing the heat. Will I be at the finale? Of course. I've already got my tux. Now I just have to get my hair done. <laughs> a team of over a dozen fabricators handcrafted the penguin's head, which is made out of chrome silver. In fact, its complex beak design makes it the most difficult mask to see out of. America, can you guess who I am? Every time you think you're getting warmer, I promise you're actually getting colder. If I was a contestant on Mass Singer, I would wear a Robin Thicke mask, and you would know it was probably Robin Thicke because I'd also have a full-length mirror in my left hand. Listen for the clue to our next mask. Who is that? Bouncing out from the jungle with piercing green eyes and impeccable grace, ready for the spotlight, meet the leopard. When I stalk my prey, they never see it coming. And the creatures on this show won't either. I'm ready to move mountains with my spectacular performances. The Leopard's elegant Baroque-era costume took the design team over 30 consecutive days to finish. The Elizabethan-style contoured waist was specifically chosen to hide the natural silhouette of the mystery celebrity inside. The security here reminds me of the Secret Service. And I should know, I've been spotted with the President. America, do you think you know who I am? I'm not letting this cat out of the bag until I unmask on finale night. If I was a contestant on this show, I would want to lose the very first episode so I <laughs> wouldn't have to wear those darn masks any longer. Plus, I'm claustrophobic, so I'd probably start screaming within the first five minutes. Who's our 10th new mask? Listen closely. Who is that? Coming straight out of the carton, always looking at the sunny side up of life, meet the incredible non-edible egg. To the other singers, you're going to be fried, scrambled, poached, beaten, you know, all of the egg puns. <laughs> I belong on this stage more than I belong with bacon, and I've hatched a plan to win the golden mask. As long as I don't fall off the stage like Humpty Dumpty. Over 2,000 individual stones and beads were sewn into the costume, which was designed to look just like a beautiful Fabergé egg. Special attention was also given to the coat to give it detailed, marbleized, cracked patterns. As my mom always told me, <laughs> life has an expiration date, so always work hard for the first and last vowels of the alphabet. America, I can't tell you if I'm a pro singer, but I can tell you I'm pro team. <laughs> and you'll never guess my identity. Around here, secrecy is the name of the game. There's the Pentagon, the White House, and then there's the world's highest level of security, the Mad Singer. Security here is no yoke. I have to be totally concealed before I even drive onto the lot. Humpty's on the move. At all times, the singers are disguised from head to toe. I feel like I'm going into the witness protection program. Because their identities are even hidden from the crew. It's like the secret service on steroids. They don't talk to anybody, and nobody talks to them. Like Ken at his high school dance. 
I'm a social butterfly. This is difficult. I don't even know who the other singers are. We barely want them to know who they are. I have to Google myself just to remember what I look like. To avoid any covert surveillance, our entire stage is a no electronic zone. Everyone entering, even our singers, must clear through metal detectors. Until this mask comes off, you will not know who I am. I promise. Their identities are the biggest secret in television history. You better believe we're gonna keep it that way. Coming up, another exclusive sneak peek performance. I am so blown away right now. And meet more top secret new masks. Will you figure out who they are? Who is that? Singer, super sneak peek. We have so many secret celebrity singers to meet. So little time until Wednesday, September 25th at 8, 7 central. So let's meet more of our new famous friends who won't tell me who the hell they are. Who's behind this mask? Listen for a clue. Who is that? Rocking a furry six pack, dressed to the canines, ready to be unleashed. Get up on your hind legs and meet Rottweiler. I'm here to be best in show, and my bark is just as big as my bite. I'm a total perfectionist, and I'm going to work my tail off to earn your puppy love. This extraordinary costume features airbrushed abs that were clearly not designed after King. <laughs> Oh my God, I like it, Kenny. <laughs> the costume team worked closely with the undercover celebrity to create its signature hip hop look. America, roses are blue, violets are red. But do you have a clue who's behind this doggy head? I'm starting to put on my detective hat. I want to guess who they are. It ignites me. Put on your detective hat for this next clue. Who is that? Rising from a garden bed to get here, there are a dozen reasons it will grow on you. Meet the flower. I blossom in every field I plant myself in, and I'm here to branch out yet again. I'm going to put my petals to the metal and make the other singers wilt. To put it delicately, I hope the audience loves me and loves them not. As much. The flower is the only mask in the history of the show to have actual human facial features. Its extravagant and detailed head design contains over 30 layers of individually hand-sewn petals. America, good luck picking out my identity. When I take this beautiful mask off, you will be blown away. Listen up for a clue to our 13th mask. Who is that? Measuring seven feet from its furry claws to its spiky hair, clad in plaid and in need of a dentist, a spectacle with spectacles, it's the thingamajig. I'm kind of a thingamabig deal. Welcome to my thingdom. Where I will tower over the rest of the singers with my puzzling persona. I'm literally unlike anything you've ever seen or heard before. Don't call me Chewbacca, though we do celebrate together. The thingamajig is the tallest costume ever on The Masked Singer. Its body is covered in over 50,000 strands of hair, and the design team has dozens of hairspray cans dedicated just to maintaining its fur. America, who do you think of the jig I am? Hey friends, it's time for another sneak peek performance. Are you ready to hear me sing a jig? Check it out. You hold tight to your umbrella, cause darling I'm just trying to tell ya that there's always been a rainbow hanging over. Up, meet 
meet the remaining new mask. And season one winner T-Pay makes his monstrous return. Yeah! Who is it? Welcome back to the mask singer, Super Sneak Peek. The clock keeps ticking down to our Super Size season premiere on Wednesday, September 25th. So before you call your friends and family to make sure they'll all be watching, let's meet more new masks. Listen for a clue to who this celebrity is. All the way from China, with ears so big, they pop out of its beanie. It's not fast, but it's furious. Meet the panda. I'm here to create total pandemonium on that stage. I'm positive I've got the moves and the energy to go all the way, and the victory will taste sweet. Like bamboo, especially the way I prepare it. Several long weeks were spent constructing the panda's jeweled paws and giant head. The design team wanted the head to be as big as possible without being too heavy for the celebrity inside. It's definitely hard to move around with this gigantic head on my shoulders, but I love new challenges and pushing myself to the limit. America, if you think you know who I am, trust me, I will have you bamboozled. Watch for a clue to this next mask. Who is that? Coming from up the water spout, covered in red, white, and black, full of tricks up their eight sleeves, meet the Black Widow. If the other singers aren't scared of spiders, just wait until they hear my voice. I'm here to crawl my way to the top and spin a web around the competition to win the golden mask. It took more than an itsy bitsy amount of time to create the Black Widow's costume. All eight legs required over 100 feet of protective foam and the entire costume was molded by hand. America, you can guess my identity all you want, but I'm going to leave you hanging by a thread until the very end. <laughs> These costumes are blowing my mind. We've seen 15 of them, and the final character will be revealed exclusively on Emmy night, Sunday, September 22nd on Fox. All right, now, The Masked Singer is a real monster hit. So it's only fitting that our first season's Golden Mask Trophy went to a true hip-hop music legend. Let's welcome to the stage our reigning champion, the artist formerly known as the monster, T-Pain. That, that, was, that was the monster shuffle. That was, that was a shuffle. That was a good shuffle. <laughs> First off, what was it like when the show started airing? Yeah, I wanted to tell everybody, man. <laughs> I wanted to tell the world. I wanted to tell everybody. That's me up there. No auto-tune going in. <laughs> uh, sweating in there. I didn't have to go through a lot of clothes. A lot of times I didn't have a shirt on, none of that. I'm glad y'all didn't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it was solid. It was solid. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Now, what was it?